raw bar at True Chesapeake Oyster Co. in Hamden, like much of the restaurant, sits empty these days. The pandemic biting down hard on profits. It's been something that we've just had to keep staying on our toes and rethinking everything. Executive chef Zach Mills has seen as much as a 75% drop in business. No sense in staying open. Just business uh, causing us to be slow enough that we need to kind of take the winter off. Um, it, it's It's been a, a tough go. But unlike the restaurant, the market is flooded with oysters. The demand from restaurants just falling off a cliff. Oyster farmer Patrick Hudson explains as basic supply and demand. He says as much as 90% of demand has dropped since the pandemic, slashing wild-caught oyster prices in half. Not so for farmers. A farm-raised oyster has stayed the same. Um, it is what it is because we have a lot of expenses to incur and uh, we simply cannot sell oysters for um, less than what we put into them. The 10-acre farm located in southern Maryland has gotten creative, pumping out oysters strictly made to order with new industry partners. There have been a lot of oyster farms selling online. The you know communities have supported oyster farmers, uh, FedExing oysters. And with just weeks left until reopening, True Chesapeake is excited to welcome back customers. Anything, <laughs> whatever they want to do, we'll, we'll make it happen. Hope for oysters and business restored. In Hamden, Amy Lou, WBAL TV 11 News.